Hey guys, my name is Clay Westing and I am a sound effects implementer, technical sound designer, and composer on this Baca Bros Entertainment project for our kart racing game. So today I'm going to show you some of the voiceover concepts and a sound effect, associated sound effect for two of the characters, uh, two of the champions that we're working on for this project. So I'll show you a picture of them real quick. So the first one we got here is Rex, like the cyborg dog. Um, Daniel made this. You guys probably know who Daniel is. The creative lead of the project. And yeah, and then we also did it for this Biclops here in the back. So I'm gonna show you the sound, what these guys sound like in our first concepts and some of the effects I did to get there. So yeah, let's take a listen to Rex as well as the sound effect afterwards real quick so you guys know what we're talking about. Machine's best friend. Machine's best friend. Here's the dog pound. <laughs> cool. So... First, let's go into this voice. So, if here we'll take a listen to it, what it sounds like with no effects at all. Quick key for that, by the way, is Shift A on a Mac while using Pro Tools. Okay, let's listen to that again. Machine's best friend. Machine's best. Fr so yeah, that is what it sounds like before any effects go into play. So first we started with a light compression here. So this is just to make it so that the levels were more even over time. Second. Machine's best friend. Mas the little red on the left of this of the meter shows um, the light compression going on there. And then this effect here, little micro shift, which is from probably my favorite sound effects bundle, Sound Toys. It's an emulation of the hardware piece of gear called the Event Tide H3000. Basically, it makes the sound wider, and it also brings in some modulation and some delay effects. So this brings a lot of the, the overall like width of the sound and thickness of it. So I'll show it to you real quick. So here is the sound without it. Machine's best friend. Machine's best friend. Without it. Here's the with dog. It. So it brings in actually a pretty significant amount of widening and thickening of the sound. And then here we have our EQ. So this is where you can choose which frequencies are cut and enhanced. So I can show you with and without this EQ effect. Machine's best friend. Machine's without best it. friend. Here's the dog pound. Ma so basically, we decided. All right, not we. Uh, I decided to bring up right here some of these lower frequencies to make it sound a little more big in the low end. And I cut out some of this 400 hertz areas to, in this whole area to get rid of some of the honk, the honkiness tone of it. And then this here at around 1.5 kilohertz and 5,000 kilohertz, as well as this shelf here on the end are basic for basic clarity of the overall sound. It makes it more comprehensible, give, especially given all the effects on it. Okay. And then we have a send here, which basically means that this, the audio is going not only on this channel, but to this other channel here. And I also have a significant amount of effects. So I did even more of this little micro shift effect, but I actually have a different setting here. And it's fully widened. So this is kind of gives like the sound of a second voice almost, which you guys probably heard. And then this decapitator another sound toys plugin this here so I got one with a preset beefy this was to bring some like more just more an aggressive more aggressive sound but it also brought in 
some more of darkness. So that basically kind of emphasizes some of the low end again, but also distorts it a little bit and kind of gives it more of that drive tone. So I can play it. Machine's best friend. Machine's best friend. Here's the... T so that's to bring in some harmonic distortion, but um, that's not a very prominent effect as you just heard. And we have radiator here, which is actually, so this is amplifying, there's this effect called heat here, and it's basically just bringing in additional distortion and noise, and it, it kind of makes it sound um, a little dirtier again. And then the little altar boy, another sound, uh, actually pretty much all of these are sound toys, really like sound toys. So. This here, I have like a robot effect, and this kind of gives it that, it's a cyborg dog, so it kind of brought that cyborgness into it, so I can show with it, with and without it too. Machine's best friend. Machine's best friend. So it brings a little bit of that modulation to make it sound a little more cyborg-y. And then we also have this chorus effect, which basically, it's another modulation. So chorus is like when you have two of the same signal coming in, but slightly different frequencies, and it kind of modulates something over time. Machine's best friend. Machine's best friend. Here. Again, very, very slight one, but they do add up, so. And then this little primal tap effect is, this is the, this is a delay, so the signal comes in and then it repeats the signal. And then it also m m determines how many times that signal is being multiplied and then how much it's adjusting the pitch of that. So this... Machine's best friend. Machine's to show you, best friend. Here's the dog pound. Machine's best friend. Machine's best friend. Here's the dog pound. Machine... So yeah, another pretty simple one, but that is that effect. And then we also have the sound effect here, which I was kind of, I brought in some sci-fi samples mostly because, and I also wanted to make it sound a little cartoony. So we have all sorts of, and we have like the dog sample that kind of gives it that cartoony, like stylized effect I felt like. And then, yeah, I brought in several um, metal hit crashes, cinematic hit library sounds as well as just general punches and transients to kind of give it that just that pop. So we can listen to that here. Here's the dog pound. Yeah, so I just want to give some context to him. Cool. So now we'll listen to the Cyclops, which is my friend Tony recorded the voice for this guy. Two heads are better than one. Not fair. We use our feet. Move aside, tiny creature. Cool, I think we got a taste of that. So again, I actually used that beefy effect here as well for the decapitator, the preset. Um, so to bring out some more of the low end and kind of bring in some harmonic distortion for that low end. And then um, we also use some, I also use a little EQ here, brought really brought in that real low sound. I wanted to really emphasize that because it's a giant cyclops. And then there were just, these are some unwanted frequencies here. And I wanted to boost the high ends for more clarity overall. And then this, oops, where did you go? So this actually was to get rid of a little bit of noise. So there was, I'm currently in a hotel room and there was kind of some noise around um, and some interference with the signal. So I need to cut out some of this super low end here. So that's why this is here, but we will re-record it for a more clean recording. Mostly want to just kind of get the sound and style down for now. And this is the most significant part. So this is actually the pitch shift. It went down three whole, um, semitones here so i'll show you with and without it two heads are better than one not fair we use our feet that's tony's original voice 
Move aside, tiny creature. I'll s so that really brings that in. And then this one also has a send, so another audio path. And then this is very similar to our other send. Um, this br this um, devil lock plugin brings in just some crunch, so it makes it sound a little dirtier, more distorted. Same with the little radiator, it's a preamp. Bringing in some, some heat some, into it, basically just makes it sound a little thicker again. And this little micro shift m makes it wider as we showed earlier. So yeah, um, we'll continue making some more recordings for some and some more voice lines, but that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Baka Bros Entertainment for more updates on our game development videos. And just remember, keep on developing, bros.